What you guys may not know about me is that my name is Nick. I know, I know, that's that's a big shocker. You search up my name on YouTube and you just get 24 frames of. 24 frames of what? Who am I? Well, that, that's not important right now. But what is important is that my name is Nick. Nick is objectively the best name on the planet. That's just a fact. Nick Cage, Nick Cannon, Nick Cross, that's, that's me. All with the initials NC. NC, great initials. Same initials as North Carolina. Carolina, a state in America. Fun fact, I've always wanted to revolutionize that state. Build a utopia of sorts. The only issue would be the name. What would I name my utopia of Nick? I got it! <laughs> Nick Tropolis was the shit growing up. Listen boomers, this game was the definitive point and click walking around simulator. It's better than your Habba Hotels, your Club Penguins, your UB Funkies. Oh, okay, maybe not the last one because that one was pretty dope. But this was my life. This is where I spent the majority of my wasteful hours in just doing nothing but stand virtually. For those of you sad folks that don't know what Nick Tropolis was, it was this web browser game from Nickelodeon. The channel I single handedly founded, fun, fun fact, don't look it up, it was a game where the entire screen was just littered with shit. Literally so much stuff on the screen. But in a tiny little box in the middle of the screen, you had the most gorgeous, ugly game ever made. Now, it's very hard to find footage of this game, of this masterpiece, since, you know, I can't play it myself since the game has been wiped off the planet pretty much. But you can find many strange videos about this game from 2007 and like 140p quality that were uploaded in 2009, 2011. Now, now, none of these videos have audio, and <laughs> they're all barren and silent, and it's really kind of creepy. It just reminds you of the endless void. But here's one video called Nick Tropolis is Boring question mark question mark question mark question mark and uh you have this dude who just shows very low quality images of the game for a minute like 40p images i i have no idea what i'm looking at but here's sonic at the end i think but okay we, we got this uh one video uh upgrades to nictropolis house by mr tropolis jr himself and we get to see his epic gamer video dude It's, it's so fun, dude. Nick Tropolis involved you creating your own little Nick guy or gal. I don't really know if they had names or not, but you make yourself in this world and then you make your room. The rooms never looked pretty. They never looked pleasing, but they were always filled to the brim with so much wacky stuff. It was crazy. Look, this one dude got freaking arcade machines in the corner, man. Too many stools for one bar and some gr <laughs> green rings in, in the middle. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's so dope, come on. But when you weren't building your amazing hip room, you were out in the world like Metro Park, where you meet these epic gamers and just stand in one tiny square in the void, in the tiniest baseball field imaginable, with your arms out like the Arthur meme. You can just go around Nictropolis, taking in the world of Nickelodeon. You can even get your own freaking fish, dude. You can create a fish, a little, little 2D clip art fish, and make him play around and dance. Oh my god, it was insane. You could feed him. You could little aquarium in Nictropolis. I love it. The game pretty much existed as a massive ad, though. Just advertising everything on Nickelodeon to other kids and all their snacks that they would have partners with like gushers and stuff. God knows I ate that fucking shit up and I did not care. I enjoyed the corporate sponsorships. I was a dummy nine year old loving the fact that I can watch Tack and the Power of Juju in my friend's room that has some kind of steam engine in the middle. What are you doing Thomas? You inventing electricity again? Oh, you crazy, Thomas. The rooms go so wacky and weird. You could just walk around in this weird room with a massive Nintendo DS just sitting there, advertising the game Starfy. What is a Starfy? You could also visit themed worlds from the Nick cartoons like Spongebob and... <laughs> okay, this part was a little creepy more than anything. I mean, just look at the citizens of Bikini Bottom. They are horrid. They need to be put down. Johnny! 
Johnny, get the pillow! This was a great game. I, I don't care what anyone says. It blows Club Penguin out of the water. It's just like a certain club at this point if you've played this game. You can play pretty much all of your favorite childhood games nowadays, thanks to rewritten's and fan works, but you can't play Nicktropolis ever again. It's hard enough to find footage of this game as it is that's in some kind of good quality. It's a game lost to time, a game where you lose time just standing in the void for hours on end. What even was the point of it? Just to collect points to build my weird ass room? Damn right that's all there was, but I loved it. This was my city, my tropolis. You could pick up girls with text bubbles that go at one frame a second and then disappear forever, or you could just block everyone because they really pushed safety in this game. Like they were they were really scared of something happening to everybody. But this was this is still my city. This is my tropolis. Like I just like I just said that. Stuff like this doesn't last, but the memory of it does. Rest in peace, Nicktropolis.